camera number 395 is this uh, mid 1950s offering from Kodak the Kodak Signet 40 a uh, 35 millimeter camera rangefinder there's the rangefinder window and the viewfinder window uh, got a nice uh, nicely made camera I must say felt very comfortable in the hand not too heavy so just let's run through some of the uh, features it uh, has a Kodak Ektonar lens 46 mm f 3.5 apparently uh, they did fit this camera with another lens made by Kodak or used by Kodak I um, can't remember the name of it but uh, there was another one a variation in that uh, also the Kodak Synchro 400 shutter is uh, fitted to the camera and as the name suggests the top speed is 1 400th of a second all the way down to 1 5th of a second and then we have bulb and we change our shutter speeds with this uh, gnarled dial there and then our uh, apertures our little pin here goes into the various grooves that uh, make up those apertures uh, it looks like we do have on some of them a little in between point between 8 and 5.6 there seems to be another groove there that can go in the same with 5.6 and 4 so it looks like there may well be um, apertures in between those uh, major numbers and then we focus with this uh, very helpful little handle and uh, we can focus with that uh, there we have to um, cock the shutter and then before we take our photograph and then we can re use the release button which is that which obviously just moves the uh, the button there or the lever okay uh, there is a flash port uh, just about there and uh, that was obviously fitted in on this side hence the reason why these uh, dials buttons could screw into a, a uh, flash unit there and then we do have a port for a cable release while we're on the front there is a little lever here you'll notice slightly uh, recessed in and that's for double exposure so by advancing it that will enable us to cock our shutter and take another photograph on the same um, bit of film around the back there is another lever here opposite that one and this is our uh, rewind uh, lever or button that we have to keep in as we rewind the film but it also serves another purpose which we'll come on to in a few moments looking through the view find a very small window I must confess initially I really struggled but uh, as a certainly as a spectacle wearer uh, but uh, after a while I did get used to it our film advance and then on the top plate we have just a film memo our film counter which is a very important uh, we'll, again we'll come back onto that and then a little uh, uh, film exposure guestometer uh, where uh, if we're using Kodachrome or Ektachrome or Plus X then uh, we have a little helpful guide here that 1 50th of a second it gives us apertures depending on whether it's bright, hazy, cloudy. Okay, of course there's no meter in the camera so uh, otherwise we'll have to use a handheld meter which is what I'll be doing. Okay, now putting film in the camera is a little bit more difficult, com more com convoluted perhaps than it needs to be. But um, to do that we need to just uh, open the film chamber which we do with that lever and uh, you'll notice that uh, there's our film chamber we have a uh, oops, sorry we have a empty film here so we need to lift up our film rewind crank and then put the film in and then push that down okay and then just advance the film take up spool you'll notice it's uh, hollowed out and there is a little pin there that catches onto the film so the idea is that we can put our film in and it will because it's slightly curled anyway 
that will curl into the uh, opening and then we can advance the film there we go now once we've done that we can close the uh, the back and this is where it gets a bit more involved uh, we need to hold the little button here that allows us to rewind our film I have to hold that in advance the film let it go and then advance it two more times and then we have to cock the shutter and take a blank image now according to the manual we have to do this two more times before the camera is fully ready now you could of course use those blank images if you like because there's no meter um, but you will have to, in order to advance the film, use the lever, hold it once, advance it two more times, cock the shutter, another blank image, hold the lever, advance the film two more times, and the final thing we now have to do is just set the film counter, so I'm going to set that to 24 exposures. It actually clicks, which is nice. Okay, and then now we can now advance our treble stroke. There we go. And then we can take our first image. So it seems slightly, as I say, more convoluted than it needs to be, but we can make use of that dead film still um, if, we, uh, if we want to. So not all is lost in these, uh, uh, very conscious of uh, using our film wisely if we can, because it's uh, expensive. Okay, uh, on the base we just have a tripod mount, and uh, I think that's pretty much it really, as far as uh, the Kodak goes. But uh, I did enjoy my time out with it, and uh, hopefully that's uh, an evidence, is, is in evidence, beg your pardon, um, in the images that now follow. So this is the Kodak Signet 40, camera number 395.